And the last few that we're going to do, and this is one that maybe if you've done fast exams and trauma and things like that, it looks familiar. So this is the subcostal or the subxiphoid view. And if we're in an echo setting or a cardiac setting, our indicator is going to be directed towards the patient's left. We're going to get underneath the xiphoid and really flat on the abdomen, shooting the beam up through the heart like this. We see this image here with the apex on this side of the screen. The base is back here. Right is closest to our transducer. And then this is left side. And I really like to point out how, see how... We're kind of pushed into the abdominal tissue to get this view underneath the xiphoid process. That's a good positioning of the hand. And also you can see the hand is all on top. You cannot have any part of your hand underneath your probe or you won't be able to get it flat enough to get a good view of the heart from here. Again, we'll point out the liver edge is here, apex, base, right, left, mitral valve, tricuspid valve. Here's what that may look like in real time. And I'll just point out again, the heart, it's a three-dimensional structure. Often we can fool ourselves by making judgments from a single view. I generally recommend recommend against making judgments from a single view because you can fool yourself if the image is not perfect or the slice is off. Again, we're taking a two-dimensional slice through a three-dimensional dynamic moving structure. So we always want multiple views to help us conceptualize what the heart is doing in all dimensions in real time and make informed decisions. All right, let's do sub xiphoid heart. So indicator is towards about three o'clock. We come under the xiphoid. And we'll ask her for a big breath and hold. And we get a pretty good view of the heart here. Go ahead and relax when you're ready. Sometimes if you flatten the probe, you can see the aortic valve from this view. We can really see the tricuspid well. And in some patients, if they have a good sub xiphoid view, we can get short axis views. So a big breath. And we can get this view out here where we see the pulmonic valve really well. And we can even see right and left pulmonary artery branches right down here. Okay, relax. And then a lot of times we'll do the IVC view from here as well. So we just get in that position, indicators towards the head, rock up till we see the heart and a little bit sideways and we can see the IVC entering the right atrium and we see how it changes shape with respiration. The aorta is right there, IVC right there.